again and welcome back to my kitchen. Uh, today I'm going to be making for you a Sicilian chicken soup. Oh my goodness. This is one of my favorite soups. Absolutely love it. Now I know I tell you guys all the time that I absolutely love it, but I don't cook anything for you that I don't absolutely love or that my family does not absolutely love. If we didn't like it, I'm not going to make it for you. <laughs> but anyway, uh, my whole chicken is back here in my stock pot and it is cooking away. Uh, it's going to be cooking for about two hours. Uh, just boiling and bubbling and just getting also nice and tender. Now when that chicken uh, wants to fall off of the bones, that's when I'm going to take it out of the pot. Now the, the water that it is cooking in, all that flavoring of the chicken, I'm not throwing any of that away. We are using that for our base for our Sicilian chicken soup. Oh my goodness. Now if you ever uh, have to maybe boil a chicken for like maybe a chicken salad or something like that Do not throw your chicken stock away. I put mine in little containers and I freeze them that way If I have a recipe that calls for chicken stock uh, You know, I've got a little supply now. I do use the box or the canned chicken stock when I run out of uh, The real stuff, you know, so anyway, don't throw your chicken stock away if you um, uh, Don't use it that particular time freeze it oh my goodness uh, it just makes all the difference in the world so a couple of hours and uh, we're just gonna let this uh, chicken just fall off the bone and then I will be showing you how I make a Sicilian chicken soup okay y'all so I have my chicken out of um, my pot that's been cooking uh, for about two hours and um, when you take this out, it may fall apart on you, but that's really okay. That's what you want. But make sure that you have all the uh, skin and the bones and everything out of your chicken stock because you don't want that skin and that bones <laughs> in your Sicilian chicken soup. It won't taste so good. Uh, so anyway, we're gonna let that just sit right there until it cools off. And then I'm gonna be taking all of the chicken off of the bone and that chicken will be added back into our soup uh, near the end. Uh, but all my ingredients are ready to go into uh, my chicken stock and it's going to cook for oh a couple of hours so everything is nice and tender. Now I cannot tell you how long to do that because it will depend on how big you cut up your potatoes and your carrots and your onion. So when everything is tender then it'll be done and I can't really give you a time limit on that because my size potatoes may not be the same as yours so anyway uh, let's just go ahead and get everything into our pot and let it cook down and we'll almost be done uh, with our Sicilian chicken soup okay um, to go ahead and get started on our Sicilian chicken soup um, some of you may be wondering how much water I put in when um, I boiled my chicken I just made sure that my chicken was completely covered uh, under the water and uh, that that water is going to cook down some so this depends on you know how how big your chicken is uh, but that's what I do when I make this soup just make sure my um, chicken is all covered and I also just dab uh, just put in some salt and pepper in there as well okay so now we've got our chicken stock and it is, smells oh so yummy okay now to that we're going to add all of our vegetables uh, so we need oh uh, a couple of cups of chopped up celery. Now all of this, um, the vegetables that we're putting in, we cook it until it is nice and tender because in the end we are going to um, smash all of these vegetables with a um, potato smasher. So just as long as they're all nice and tender, that's okay. So that's why it does not matter on the size uh, when you put it in here. It just has to be tender when it's done. Okay. Uh, and to this, I am adding two bags of, of frozen carrots. Now, I will tell you, uh, you can use fresh carrots if you like. Um, I like to use the frozen just because I usually have them. Um, and it's just a um, 12 ounce bag of frozen carrots and I used two of those bags. All right, now we're also going to um, add a one um, a large onion that's been chopped up. Okay, and um, I've got three um, medium-sized potatoes that I'm adding in here. 
let's see, we're going to add a, uh, a pepper. Now you can use green pepper, but my family does not like green peppers. So every time that it calls for a pepper, I just grab a red one or orange one or a yellow one just because they're sweeter and my family likes the sweet peppers and not that green pepper. So you can change that up if you want to. Uh, we're also going to add um, two, let me see what size these are. Um, they are 14 and a half ounce um, Italian ready stewed tomatoes. I'm gonna be adding two of those cans um, into our soup. Oh my, my, my. I absolutely love this soup. This is my all time favorite soup. Um, also some garlic cloves. Now um, I use, mm, wow, I use about eight. You do not have to use that many, but I love, love garlic. So I always use a lot of garlic. Um, and let's see, we're going to add some uh, parsley. Now you can use fresh parsley, but I did not have any. So um, I'm going to use the dried parsley. Now we're just gonna mix that all together. And you can go ahead and salt and pepper this. Um, of course, that will be to your taste. Um, you know, some people like more salt and pepper than others. So I do not, um, my husband doesn't like as much as I do. So it's easier for me to add it than it is for him to take it out. So, cause that's not possible. Um, so anyway, I don't add as much as um, I would like, but um, I do try to keep that salt and pepper down to a minimum because of him. Okay, now we are going to just let this come to a boil. And then I'm gonna put it down on low and I'm going to let this just simmer and simmer um, until everything is nice and tender. And then we will be ready to continue with our Sicilian chicken soup. Okay, y'all, so our uh, vegetables are all nice and tender uh, and it is smelling oh so wonderful in my kitchen. Uh, but now I'm just gonna take a this is just a regular potato masher. You know how they used to mash potatoes long time ago before we started using uh, mixers. Anyway, they're just a regular uh, potato smasher and I am going to just mash my vegetables. Um, I'm just gonna push down because see now they're nice and tender. So they're going to uh, be able to just go right through all those little holes. Now this takes a little bit of time. Uh, so, you know, don't worry, just keep smashing. Eventually all of your uh, vegetables will be all nice and smooshed up. Now, you know, if you do not want to do this, you don't necessarily have to do this, but um, you know, just because it's that Sicilian uh, recipe, you know, they call for it to be all smashed up. Now I've had it uh, both ways. I much prefer uh, my vegetables smashed into just little bitty, bitty pieces. I mean, they're not even really pieces. They're just little, little bitty <laughs> pieces of vegetable. But I mean, you can't really tell that, uh, you know, it's a carrot or it's a tomato or a potato or whatever. So um, anyway, I'm just gonna smash, smash away here until everything is all nice and you can't even tell what it is anymore. So now our, um, oops, I think I missed a carrot. <laughs> I was aiming to say our um, uh, vegetables were all smashed, but uh, I think I missed a carrot. But I'll get that one in just a minute. Um, but oh, looking so good and so yummy. Now um, we're gonna go ahead and add back our chicken that um, I already took off the bone. And uh, it's gonna go right back into our um, chicken, uh, chicken. Sicilian chicken soup. I'll get it out there in just a minute. Okay, and that is looking oh so marvelous. Now that is smelling so good. Oh, yummy. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and add some pasta in here. You can put any kind of pasta uh, that you want. Now I like to use these little uh, ruffle pastas, not for any particular reason other than 
I like the shape. <laughs> you got the little spirals there and these little kind of uh, rounded spiral things. But anyway, I just like the way these look. Uh, so I'm gonna get my soup here kind of cooking a little bit. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add my pasta. Now when my pasta is done, then my soup is ready to eat. So I'm um, gonna bring this soup up to a little boil and then I'm gonna go ahead and add my pasta. Okay y'all, so I've uh, got our noodles in there and they are all nice and tender. I was trying to find some <laughs> so that I can show you. See those noodles in there? Oh my goodness, so cute. Now I added about oh, two cups of uh, dried pasta because you know pasta does swell up quite a bit and um, anyway, so I've, there's about two cups of pasta in here and it is all nice and done and it is ready to eat. And I'm so glad because I've been having to smell this and I've just been wanting to have a great big old bowl of it. <laughs> but anyway, hope you guys um, will try this because this is oh so yummy. Okay, y'all, I hope that you will give this Sicilian chicken soup a try because it is fantastic. Like I said, my all-time favorite soup, um, but it is fabulous. Now, the best part of cooking starts. I get to taste it. <laughs> I absolutely love this soup. I could just, I could live off this soup alone. Oh man, <laughs> a yum, oh, so yummy. That is fabulous. Um, anyway guys, I hope that you give this a try because you will love it. I promise you will love it. <laughs> anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye now.